This video demonstrates how to replace the air switch of a sliding door and is part of a series of walk-in cooler door maintenance videos. For this adjustment, you will need a standard size flathead screwdriver and a thin flathead screwdriver, and a hammer or other large tool for safely testing the safety edge. First, use the hammer or other large tool to test the safety edge for operation. If the safety edge does not properly stop the door movement and return the door to the safe position, then operate the door to reach the closed position and turn off the power to the door controller. Now the door is safe to work on. Remove the door leaf junction box cover plate using the standard flathead screwdriver to loosen the locking screws. Hint: For ease of reassembly, remove only three of the locking screws and loosen the fourth locking screw so the cover plate remains attached and slides out of the way. Locate the air switch and using the small flat head screwdriver, turn the set screw one eighth of a turn. Clockwise increases sensitivity, counterclockwise decreases sensitivity. Warning! Turn the screw one eighth turn at a time and test the door. Do not turn too far. The air switch can be damaged. Place the air switch and connections back in the junction box and reattach the cover plate. Now turn the power back on at the controller and test cycle the door through its complete operation. Retest the safety edge for proper operation and adjust as required. You have completed this adjustment if the door successfully stops and returns to the safe position when tested. More technical videos are available from the Imperial Brown website or directly on the Imperial Brown YouTube channel. Leave us a comment on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter and let us know how your adjustment went or to suggest another video.